Hey guys, welcome to Minimal Reviews and today I'm reviewing Someday by Justin Bieber. So, uh, where do you start? Well, well, we'll start with this first. So, I got it in a gift set. So, sorry. I got it with um, some body lotion and the body lotion was 100ml and then this is just a little 30ml uh, fragrance that I got. And it's cool, I think it's like that. And then it's got that. At first, when I first saw it, I was like, whoa, you get like a crystal with it or something, but it's not. It's just silver. Um, it's just got like, if you can see at the back, it's got like a signature in that at the back. Um, and it's alright. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. And love hearts and that round it. To me, this feels really young. It's not like all the other gift sets I've ever had, um, it does feel quite young. So that is there. And then this is the body lotion. Mm -hmm. So with the lotion, I definitely, I know I know it sounds quite weird because sometimes, most of the time it's the opposite way around, but I prefer the smell of the lotion to the actual fragrance just because I think it's a lot, um, I don't know what it is. It, this smell the same kind of, but this smells a bit stronger and you can really smell it a lot more than that. Um, I think that's probably why, because you get to it like last longer and you can smell it for a longer time. So this is the bottle. Now when it came out, you know, it had this whole thing because it looks loads like a Marc, ja a Marc Jacob um, bottle. So there was a lot of bad press in a way about that um, but I think I get the whole design of it um, because there's the love hearts that are like on here um, and then he's like done them like that to make it look like a flower but I will say though when I first got this bottle I nearly broke it because I thought you had to take like the whole thing off I was like trying to get it off but you don't you just take like that bit off so that could have not ended well. That could have not ended well. I could have ended up not doing this review since I would have broken the bottle. So, right. There's something I like need to say about this. Um, the only thing is, it's a really nice scent, and it's going straight up my nose. <laughs> it's a really nice scent. The only thing is, it smells a lot like Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. And I know it obviously came out before, I'm just saying it obviously smells like a watered down version of it. But um, there's not really a lot you can do about that. It's just, I kind of prefer in this circumstance Pink Friday because it's stronger and it lasts a lot longer. This just seems like quite watered down, which I don't really like when people do that for perfumes. I think the only reason I think it's so watered down is because... The age range that it's aimed at is quite young. See, it's it's for 14 to 18 year old girls apparently, but I definitely I think it's a lot younger. I think I would I would even say as young as eight would wear this. Um, definitely for children. Um, it says to 18, but I'm not sure. Unless you're like a really big Justin Bieber fan, I would definitely say a lot of you guys who are 18 and massive Justin Bieber fans, you would definitely wear it probably. But um, I think someday right now, this one is just definitely for younger girls, I would say. Kadoki. So the top notes is mandarin orange, pear and red berries. So it's just this whole juicy fruit opening, um, it's not really stand-out-y, um, there isn't one that really stands out straight at the beginning like some fragrances do. Um, it's not really strong. And then the middle notes is jasmine and floral notes. So it's definitely quite a soft middle, you can definitely notice that. and but you can still smell the top notes at the same time. So it doesn't, again, it doesn't have a standout note in there. And then base notes is musk and vanilla. And with them two, definitely vanilla stands out, definitely over musk. Um, you can hardly smell any musk in this, to be honest. Um, 
once you've worn it, obviously for quite a long time you can smell it, but otherwise you can't. Um, definitely vanilla. So it just goes from this really like juicy fruit um, and then going sweet into this kind of soft middle and then it just kind of goes to vanilla. So there's not like a massive, it's not a massive standout fragrance at all. It's just this whole like sweet vanilla scent is the way I would say it. Um, for this fragrance, I would definitely say it's daytime. I wouldn't wear this at night time. I would say like summer type of, like it's not really a winter fragrance either. Um, it doesn't last that long. It doesn't last as long as I would like it to last. It lasts about two, three hours. But if you're just like popping out somewhere, like this is nice to wear. But if you're out for the whole day, you would have to like keep respraying it. Um, so I would definitely say it's aimed for younger girls, like eight to 14, but that's not like a maximum minimum. You can't not be like a 94 year old guy who's wants to wear it, you know? It's like, uh, that's just my opinion on who I would say it's aimed for and who I who I would say would wear it a lot. Um, either, even like teenagers, older teenagers, 20s, anyone can wear it. I'm just saying that's definitely who I would think it would be aimed for. Right, so I have done my scoreboard and the scores on the doors are. Right, so seven for the box because for me, um, I'm 15 in one day, uh, it's just quite childish for me. Um, I think, I don't know what it is about it, it just seems like a child's, like a young girl's um, box. I, I, I wouldn't like look at that and pick it up on the shelf because I would think it was aimed for children. So, you know, it's, yeah. But it's a nice box though. It's a nice box. Um, seven for the bottle. Right, there's this thing with the bottle. It's a really nice bottle, but it does get on my nerves. That, right, so I'll take the lid off. If it's pointing that way, look, it's pointing that way, I, I would spray the flower. So then I have to like make sure every time I do it, I have to spray it that way. Otherwise it's just gonna get all cloggy in here and gross. So it's like, it's quite annoying that I have to keep doing that. Cause on a lot of fragrances, whichever way it is, I just turn the bottle around and spray it. So I think that's just like a downside of it. Just Okay. And then I gave it 7.5 for the fragrance because I really do like this fragrance. Um, I mean, if I'm just off, like, quick going to the shops or something, um, this would be a fragrance that I would wear. Sorry, I've got hair stuck in my face. Um, that would be a fragrance that I would just, like, quick spray on and then go. You know, it's one of them ones. Um, but, yeah, it's a really nice fragrance. And definitely, it's like the body lotion for it. I would use that a lot more than I would use the fragrance. So I've had a bath, you know, and more calm and serenity. And then I just like put this on and I smell nice, you know. And then, you know, it's just like, it's one of them ones where it's just such a nice fragrance that you would put it on quite a lot. So, um, as in the body lotion. So I think that's definitely the strongest out of the gift set for me. Right guys, so. Overall, um, I would definitely say it's this sweet vanilla scent, um, it's daytime, it uh, doesn't last that long, it lasts about 2-3 hours, and I will definitely say it's aimed for young girls, but if you like it, if you like sweet vanilla scents, then you get it. So, that's about it. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, please subscribe to the Mini Molly and Mini Ma Reviews, so, thanks for watching. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time, bye!